Hey everybody, it's Hayato from Tech for Geeks, and we're at CES 2014 looking at uh, the Tegra K1 at the NVIDIA booth here with uh, Jaime. Yep. And uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, one of the biggest parts about Tegra K1 is that it has 192 GPU cores in it, so an amazing amount of cores. But they're also using the Kepler architecture for the first time, and that architecture is what we use on our GPUs desktop workstation, first time all the way down to mobile. And what that allows us to do is that we can use full desktop APIs right on these tablets, meaning we have DirectX 11, OpenGL 4.4, um, all the stuff that we're used to seeing on desktop, we're now literally running on this 7-inch tablet. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I've got the Fracture demo up right now, and what this is going to show you is uh, real-time physics as well as real-time lighting. I'm going to shoot a bullet through these glass beams and I'm going to be able to move it around and see how the light is refracting in real time. This is something that we formally show off on desktops and I'm literally going to do it right now on mobile. So I'll, I'll, I'll fire a bullet and I can pause it at any time and this is going to break apart different every time I do this. And if I look down, I'm seeing light not only refracting off the glass surfaces, but onto the floor itself. And I'll set it up again and I'll shoot it again. It's going to break apart completely differently, as well as the light's going to be refracted completely differently because it's broken differently this time. So com breaking completely differently and light is being refracted through this in a completely different way, just like it would in real life. So um, stuff we take for granted when we see it happen in real time. It takes tons and tons of graphical horsepower to do on a tablet. That's just incredible. Yeah, we're really excited by it. So this is, uh, like you said, this is something that's going to show up in uh, phones, tablets. Uh, really pretty much and gaming devices as well. So it's truly mobile. Um, and we're going to start to see it in devices in the first half of this year. So literally devices are just around the corner. And... Um, this is, a, this is set to, uh, the 32-bit the, the yep. model is set to be out uh, before the end of Q2? So the 32-bit model is currently in production, and we're going to see it in device and on sale before the first half of this year. 64-bit we're going to see in the second half of the year. Awesome. Uh, and then do we, do we know any kind, of, uh, any kind of devices that may be uh, powered by this soon? Any, any, you know, any NVIDIA products to look forward to or any, anything else? So we're not making any announcements on the NVIDIA side as to where K1 will land, and we're going to let manufacturers roll out as they're ready. We don't want to steal any of their thunder. No, absolutely. They're going to throw their own stuff, so you'll see you'll see and hear announcements pretty soon. Awesome. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for your yeah, time. Yeah, absolutely. Take it easy.